Multitasking on Android works pretty well, but some power users might find themselves wishing they could do a little bit more. Pin tasking is an app that allows you to pin any app to the side of the screen and switch to it, or switch to the last used app on the fly, like the old alt tab shortcut in Windows. Let's take a look. So this is pin tasking. You can see here I have Twitter and Instagram in little bubbles on the side of the screen. It's sort of like chat heads for Facebook Messenger. And I can just tap on that and it's going to open the app and I can go back and forth. Uh, and you can do as many apps as you want. So if I want to add YouTube to the sidebar, for example, there are two ways I can do that. I can pull down and tap this from the notification shade and now YouTube is there and it automatically takes me to the last app. Uh, and let's say I want to pin early bird. Another way I can do that is with a shortcut I have enabled. So I'm going to pull down from this top corner all the way till I see that icon. And there we go. Now I have early bird on the sidebar. And you can just simply tap to switch apps. Uh, and if you want to go to the last used app, you can tap the little arrow icon. And that's basically how it works. But the, the real power of this app is in the settings because there's a lot of different things that you can do. So you can customize the look of the pins, like the size and all that. And you can do swipe pad. That's what I use to launch early bird. So you can see it's highlighting this top area of the screen. That's my swipe pad. And I can move that to wherever I want. So let's say I want to put it on the right side or I want to put it in the center. I happen to like it on the left because it doesn't get in the way too much. Then you can also change what it does. So I have it set to pin the current app, uh, but you could also have it switch to the last app if you want. Uh, and then you can change the height of it so that you can choose which area you need to grab. There's also an assist action, but it actually doesn't really work if you're on Marshmallow because Marshmallow replaced the swipe up to Google search with Google now on tap. So you can't really do that anymore. Uh, and there's also a browser extension. So when you have this, uh, when you open up links, it's actually going to open it in the side. So let's go to Twitter here and see if we can get this to work. So here's a breaking news story. And you can see that this opened up here. If I hit the pin icon, so now I'll put that in Chrome and it says that I have one link waiting for me and here we have it. Let's go back to Twitter. Let's open up another thing. Here's a link and it's going right to Chrome. Tap that and now it's opening for me. So let's open up another link here. We get the little notifier that we have a tab opening in Chrome. Let's go to YouTube, kind of mess around. Okay, now I'm ready to go read this. And there we go, it's gonna open up. And so it kind of just like waits there for you. You can finish what you're doing. And then when you go to Chrome, it'll remember that you wanted to read that link and it'll open it for you. So that's pin tasking in a nutshell. Uh, the app is free, but to unlock most of the stuff that I showed you here, you need to get the pro mode, which is $3.99. Without the pro mode, you can only have two apps on the side, and there's things like the swipe pad that you can't do. Uh, but if you uh, do a lot of multitasking, this is an app that is definitely worth it because it takes the standard Android multitasking and bumps it up a notch. So that's pin tasking. Thanks for watching, guys.